uh, we decided as a team to come up with an African languages spelling bee because this activity is mostly done in Indian Africans. We felt we should expose our kids to their mother tongue. We should develop a culture in them that their mother tongue is vital and is flexible for all activities. We have observed that most parents and learners have no interest in their mother tongue. They are more comfortable communicating in English. They are more comfortable in doing uh, English uh, activities. They, they, are, they are so proud to say they can, they can articulate better in English and so. So we just wanted to give them a different exposure in their mother tongue. And then we have seen how kids now are coming out uh, with that interest. So it, basically we just want to promote it academically because we are seeing how uh, our society is losing out on our mother tongues. And our spelling in Rukwangali, I love spelling in my language because I use Rukwangali at home. The word that I'm going to spell is a jungle dotto. A, t, ch, a, n, g, o, t, o, t, o, a jungle dotto. I got to spell, um, I spelled Oshiero and I got the words correct. And it was really nerve-wracking. Um, I was nervous, scared that I was going to get the words wrong, but thankfully I got them correct. And um, um, I'm going to spell the word for you, Omahakani. O, M, A, A, K, A, E, N, E, N, O. I was spelling my own language, Koko Koko. The word that I'm going to spell is Kainakwago. Kainakwago, G, G. A E N A N G G A G U Kanyakago. Ah, it felt nice because um, well, there were many of us. I think we were about five, but it it was really sad for me because I was the only one that got everything right.